We hear a lot about stem cells these days. But what are they? Where do they come from? And what do we really know about them? Inside our bodies, there's a microscopic world, busy and complex like the world around us. Stem cells build and maintain this world. This is a story of stem cells and their lives inside and outside our bodies. Life begins with one cell, the fertilized egg. Throughout development, cells divide over and over again to produce the billions of cells that make up the body. At certain stages, most cells stop making copies of themselves and start to specialize. When we are fully formed, almost all of our cells are specialized. Cells are very beautiful things when you see them down the microscope. Normally they're so minuscule we can't see them, even though they won't make us all. And each type of cell has its own characteristic. Some types of cell grow together, very closely together, and form beautiful patterns. Other types of cell will move away from one another. Some cells become big, other cells are always very small. It depends on what type of cell they are. These different cell types work in specialized teams. Some carry oxygen through the blood system. Some do the stretching and contracting in our muscles. Some carry messages between our brain and the rest of our body. Stem cells are very special cells and they act as a, a reservoir, really, because the specialized cells can no longer make copies of themselves. So if they die, get used up, then they have to be replaced from somewhere and this is where the stem cells function. Stem cells are used in the blood system. We need to make millions of new blood cells every single day and these are generated from stem cells. And these cells actually live in the bone marrow. Altogether the blood stem cell can make eight different types of specialized cell. They're used in the skin. We need to make new skin cells all the time because we're always wearing away our skin. And actually now we know they're present even in the brain. We always have to make new stem cells so that they're not completely exhausted because otherwise we'd lose the capacity to make any new cells at all. So the stem cell has to make a decision. Every time it divides, it produces two daughter cells, and those daughter cells can be new stem cells, or they can be specialized cells. Stem cells in the adult tissues can normally only make the type of cell in that tissue. So a stem cell in the skin can make cells of the skin, but it can't make blood cells and vice versa. So cells are the, the building blocks of the different tissues and organs of the body. And many people are interested in this. But what captured my imagination was when I realized that in development, cells actually have to make choices and decide to become different types of cell and understanding how that is controlled, how that decision is made. If you could understand that, it seems to me, then you would really understand the most important thing about life.